Hello lovelies, it's been a while since I've posted a video but I am rectifying that today with a kit unboxing and I know what you're thinking Emma, you haven't been posting videos which means you haven't been scrapping so why have you got more stuff? Because it's gorgeous and I love my subscription to Light Forever so this is next month that is to say that I also have the last two months just sitting not being used but I am trying to do something about that this weekend so I have already taken it out of the box of teasing you a little bit by putting the tissue paper on the top but um let's get straight into it this is November's kit from Like Forever which um if you are new to my channel or you haven't seen me or heard me talk about it before it is a UK based kit club uh run by the lovely Nicola who is just amazing she goes above and beyond for her customers and the subscriber community we've got like a, a facebook group where everyone sort of chats and shares what they've been doing with the with the kit and the subscriber community is just amazing it's one of my favorite places to be on facebook um so yes this is november's kit and this is called starstruck and it's got some of the gorgeous new pink paisley line which is called, and I can't remember what it's called, of course, Moonstruck. It's right in front of me and I can't see it. Um, as usual, Nicola has included a little sweet, which I am about to eat after I film this video as a reward for myself. Um, so let's get into it. I'm just going to pull everything out. Now, <clears throat> if you're wondering how I store my kits, uh, I don't really well no I do I do store them um I don't have a fancy box or anything that I sort of unpack everything into um they stay in these plastic pockets the 12 by 12 plastic pockets and they go into um my letter tray organizer thing that sits in my cube storage one of these days I'll show you my craft room um well craft room craft space um but yes they they stay in the plastic pockets so i know that which kits are together so let's get started i think we'll do embellishments second oh look i'm tricking it about so each month we get a piece of paper with sketch inspirations just as a kickstart in case you're not quite sure what to do and these ones have been designed by the lovely laura rumble especially for um like forever so they're exclusive and um yeah laura is beads buttons and birds dot blogspot dot co dot uk or she is laura r on youtube so definitely check her out because she's amazing um so let's flick with the papers flick, flick, flick. playing cards dot first we've got a gray a navy that's like almost purple it's like really dark it's nice um, so grey, navy and a peachy colour. Handy. I don't really use coloured cardstock a whole lot to be honest. Right. <clears throat> I have already sneak peeked at these. Uh, right. Ping Paisley doesn't name theirs anymore. They're just numbered. So this is number six. Gorgeous watercolour heart with like a script in the background. And this is a really faint pattern. And I'm not sure my camera is going to pick it up. But it's like... Um, it's pink with like a really faint sort of white diamondy sort of pattern there. Um, yeah. Then we have uh, number 12. Again, Moonstruck. And is it Moonstruck? Yeah, it is. Um, pink feathers, gorgeous. And grey stripes. I'm going to put them the way round I would use them over here, I think. This is really cool. I really like this. This is number nine. And they're all little squares. I'm not sure how big the squares are precisely. Bear with. About, well, just under one and a half inch squares. And I think they're really versatile because you can either cut them out and use them as tiles or you could fit a one inch circle punch in there quite easily on some of these like smaller ones with the sayings in so we've got daydreams and grand schemes stop and smell the roses uh carpe diem i think they're really 
quite versatile and then the back of that is like a chalkboard flower print I like both but I do like that one I love this this is butterflies on this gorgeous sort of navy to teal and it's just this is number eight I love that and then we've got a sort of like a smoky stripe on the background you know I'm gonna go that way um, I'm going to move it over there actually. This is number 11, so we've got this really lovely watercolour effect with a script in the background. And then this is all different phases of the moon, I would assume. And then it's got like a watercolour y kind of background to it. Going that way. We have, oh, this is part of We Are Memory Keepers Urban Chic collection. And this is called Fifth Avenue. And there's this really bold sort of pink and white stripe. And then we've got a black and white chevron, which is kind of funky if you look at it too much. <laughs> um, I like the pink, but the white is very bright. We'll leave it that way around for now. Next one, we have Back to Pink Paisley Moonstruck. This is number three. And this one's got lots of um, keys on one side. And it's like that pinky paper. It's um, got the really faint sort of diamond type outline thing on it. I know what I mean. Uh, I think it's going to have to go with the turquoise. We've got one from Crepe Paper Cute Girl. <clears throat> And we've got sort of like an aqua with sort of mint. Well, I suppose that's mint. Mint with an aqua dot, maybe? Aqua dot sounds like aqua duck. And then like a... Well, you can see. So that's cute girl and that's called magical. I think I'm going to go that side. We've got a photorealistic paper from Pink Paisley Moonstruck. And that is number two. Those flowers are stunning. And I kind of don't want to cut into it. I mean, I will, but I kind of don't want to. And then on the other side, it's like a funky kind of... Yeah, you can see. <laughs> I'm going to go that side. Um, we have number five, Pink Paisley Moonstruck. This is really nice. It's like a star chart. Can you find the plough? Hmm. No, I can't. How disappointing. There's Orion's belt. One, two, three. Look at me, it makes like it sounds like I know astronomy. I really don't. So star chart on the back, and then this really gorgeous flower, rosy kind of pinky paper. You know I'm going with that one. And then we've got the card stock. So that is it for the paper. Let's move that along a bit, shifty it. There we go. So those are my choices. This one's standing out to me. Maybe if I turn that one over. It's like the white is too stark. Can you turn that one over. Is the black and white better? I think it might be. Mm, I'm going to leave it at black and white for now. Right, bring on the embellishments. I'm going to start with the most gorgeous thickers you have ever seen. These go along with the Pink Paisley Moonstruck collection and they are called Amber. And I don't know whether my camera will pick this up. I'm going to see if I can focus it. Look at those. They are like, they're all the colours of the collection. And there's a really delicate sort of gold foiled flower pattern in there. And actually, you know what pattern it is? Let's see if I've picked this up. I have. It's those flowers. I'm fairly sure it is. I'm fairly sure it's that flower pattern shrunk down in gold and on those thickers. Yes. They're awesome. And my phone has just fallen down. I have an email from PayPal. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, those thickers, I love them. I'm going to pop those there and I'm going to put this one back in the lineup. Let's slide that in. <clears throat> Next, also from Pink Paisley Moonstruck, are these stickers. And I think they're sort of, I want to say they're clear, but then they don't look clear. Why would they be clear and then have like a blue? 
I don't know what kind of material they are. I can't even get them out. Issues. I'm having issues. Come on. Right, that's it. I've destroyed the packaging. And I still can't get them out. Right, destroying the packaging even more. Aha. Ooh, they're like vellum -y kind of. Oh, they are kind of transparent. Oh, that's a shame. Has it made a difference? Okay, so as I've tried to pull these out, because I'd kind of stick, stuck to the packaging, can you see it's left an imprint of the stickers there? I don't know whether that's made a difference to... I think I might have got away with it, and it hasn't made too much of a difference to my actual stickers, I think. So they're kind of... Bellamy. I'm going to put them on that side so you can see them. These are kind of acetate, like tinted. Yeah, I'm going to say tinted acetate for the top. These ones. And then these ones have a kind of vellum feel to them, but they're both sort of, it's matte sort of gold for women. So they're really cute. Well, I'm a bit disappointed about that, but I seem to have gotten away with it. So they're those. Then we have, appropriately so, given the kit is named Starstruck, we have some Studio Calico wood veneer stars, which are always handy. A little wooden star is always a perfect touch. Uh, where can I put you the like the little scene that I'm creating? I wonder if this would count as a flat lay. Um, then we have ephemera from we are memory keepers urban chic and there are 45 die cut shapes in here give you a little little look see so we've got some frames got some sayings got a lipstick and a mascara wand and some hair grips and yeah those kind of fun things the colors tie in nicely with the pink paisley and then we have the Chamel Go Now Go Puffy Hearts. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is all moon and kind of prettiness. And then we've got travel. Well, actually, look at the colours. So we've got the pale pink and the navy and the tealy kind of minty greens. This bold blue. Those are all colours that are in here. We've got the uh, the light pink, the navy, the tearly blue, um, the the really dark one, the bold kind of aqua. I think these will really work well. I mean, you, you've got to kind of... I'm not a fan of the green ones. But if we take those out, I think it'll be fine. So yes, that is November's Light Forever Kit, not including the cardstock, which is off that side. But isn't it pretty? It is. I love it. If, um, if you are in the UK, and even Europe actually, uh, I don't think the shipping is too bad to Europe, um, but if you are in the UK or Europe and you are looking for a kit club, definitely look at Light Forever because they're amazing. I love them. And I wouldn't actually say that unless I meant it. Because, you know, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. But yeah, it's amazing. I'm a happy girl. I will see you soon. Bye.